just south of Seattle, you'll find Mount Rainier National Park. And there it is, 14,408 feet of mountain. We're about 80 miles in here, Box Canyon. We expect Caitlin in 7, 10, 15 minutes maybe. Here we go. Why, here's a group getting ready for a longer adventure on the Wonderland Trail. There are plenty of guided tours, and the trails are marked if you choose to venture out on your own. You can even enjoy the Wonderland Trail the Lazy Man's Way on the back of a sure-footed horse. How much time we got? 718. I'm not in 718. You're still in Delta. Delphi. Uh -huh. The Wonderland Trail truly has it all. Welcome to Trail Talk with Caitlin Gerben, edition one. We are out on the Wonderland Trail. I'm running with my teammate, Dylan. So rad, dude. Before the pandemic, I had a really busy year planned with a lot of international travel. With most things being canceled this year, I've redirected my focus to say super local. That is all led up to me going for the Wonderland Trail FKT. I don't know if I really like slept, slept, but I definitely rested a lot. I have always wanted to go after a fast time on this route. For FKTs to really be important, it has to be something that is a personal connection to the place and the mountain, and I feel that really deeply with Mount Rainier. Probably out of all the places in Washington, I've spent the most cumulative amount of time within Mount Rainier National Park. I've been climbing on the mountain nine different times, stood on the summit seven times, run the entire Wonderland Trail as part of the Infinity Loop. So I've spent a good number of hours suffering out here. Leaving my mark on the Wonderland Trail would be incredible. It would be one of the highlights of my running career. So I am doing this route supported, but the first 55 miles of the route are pretty remote. I'll see my crew once. Wow, <laughs> and then I will have a pacer with me. Brian, who is a good training partner of mine, he knows how to keep me motivated and keep me honest. All right, see you guys in... A few hours. Um, There's been a lot of action on the men's side for setting FKTs around Mount Rainier. Jen Shelton's time is, is awesome and has stood for years, but the men's time has been lowered almost every year, and there hasn't been another women's time going after that. As a woman who's trying to push the boundaries of what other women in the sport can do, I want those times to be a lot closer together. All right, All right three seconds, two. Alright guys. Let's yeah. do this. Yeah. The Wonderland Trail is something that I've known about my entire career. It's a record that's been held by some very highly respected, highly talented athletes who've come through our sport over the last decade plus. It's always had this sort of special place in the world of trail and ultra running just because it is such a beautiful place, it's such a beautiful trail, and it's incredibly challenging. If adventure is the name of the game, consider circumnavigating Mount Rainier on the challenging Wonderland Trail a 94-mile journey that climbs nearly 24,000 feet. Considered by many adventurers to be the toughest section of the Wonderland Trail, the first 35 miles will whisk hikers up high rocky ridges, down deep valleys carved by giant glaciers, and will surely take your breath away. This is why everyone should respect the station. Okay? We're at Moich Lake, and expecting Caitlin here in one or two hours. Do you want to chat face and stuff quick? Yeah. I'm about to pick up Caitlin. I'll be with her from 
Mowich Lake to White River. It's about 26 miles. Pretty stoked. I'm like trying to be like on my game so I'm ready to like dash out right when she gets in. I don't think she's gonna be dilly dallying. Guten Morgen! You're here very early. <laughs> yes. He is kicking many asses. Absolutely demolishing. How are you feeling, Katie? Good. The section's hard. Oh, the section was incredible. I mean, got almost half the climbing of the entire route out of the way. Three hours of that in the dark. Caitlin is hauling ass, right on schedule. Thank you guys. Crush Thanks, it. Ryan. Yeah. The Wonderland Trail has lots of big climbs. I mean, there's basically no flat section of the trail at all. You go up and down over and over and over. So it's a lot of ascend for a couple thousand feet to the top of a viewpoint, descend down, cross a glacial river, ascend back up. biggest crux is from the Carbon Glacier, which is the lowest point, to sunrise. You climb more than a vertical mile, followed immediately by another 2,000 foot climb. How are you doing? Yeah, Caitlin, feeling the flow. Woo! So much climbing. Oh. The climb is big and burly. She just like powered up the first one, was super focused, especially when she was climbing. A little more like cruiser and smooth once we got on flatter stuff, but really pushing. Well, we're halfway done. Yeah! Nausea isn't something that I typically <laughs> deal with, and the heat of the day started to get to me. I knew that I needed to manage it. About 50 miles and 18,000 feet of gain in almost exactly 12 hours, which I don't understand, but I'm really proud of. She's kind of in that like quietly working mode. Mm -hmm. yeah. This extra thing I was on here because didn't yeah. take this water I'm glad I got some chips. I managed to get some good calories in at White River and left feeling pretty strong again. All right, I'm going to start walking. Thank you, guys. Caitlin's going to cross the White River with her pacer Alex to Panhandle Gap and in Indian Bar. It's just stunning terrain around the mountains, all above tree line. My friend Yusin is out there. He's capturing some additional footage with a GoPro up on top of the climbs. How you doing? All right. I just like love that my daughter's like seeing you. I think it's just so important too. She should come run with us sometime. Oh yeah. Keep strong. Keep grinding away. Feed the good wolf! Ow! We're about 80 miles in here, Box Canyon. We expect Caitlin in 15 minutes, maybe. Here we go. Like you're still under guilty, you're, you're, you're got time for that. Yeah, girl, Woo! get it! Woo! Woo! Big 
climbs. I just hope it makes some fresh notches on. Yep, okay. And notching on, notching all day. Yep. I just got new calories in. Man, you're moving great. Drop like 300 more feet. Things started to get pretty dark for me in that last section with Dylan. This is a tricky part. That final climb is hard. The nausea was hitting me, the sunset. Want me to stay out front? Yeah. Okay. <coughs> Get a couple deep breaths if you can. Looks like it doesn't want to come out, huh? <coughs> yeah. Let's just let's just walk it for a bit. When things start to go wrong. Yep. There's no better person to have with you there than Dylan, who's been through it himself and has a ton of experience managing things like this. He helped me keep moving things forward and bring it home strong. You can rally. Yeah. <laughs> Once I got to Reflection Lakes, I knew that I was on the home stretch. Just set a new paradigm in Wanderland Trail history, in ultra running history. Caitlin Gerben, everyone. Way to go. Jesus. <laughs> you guys Caitlin, are so awesome. Yeah, kick those feet up. 1841. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> this route is so hard. Why would, why would anyone do this? Chasing an FKT is kind of like chasing the shadow of someone else who ran it before you. Of course, I would love it if I could set a time that stood for a long time, but the nature of FKTs is that you set a time, you set a new standard, and then people have a new bar for what they're going after. When Jen Shelton set this record in 2015, that was an inspiration to me, and I've been thinking about it ever since then. I hope that my record is going to inspire the next generation of women to come out here and see what they can do on the Wonderland Trail. Breathtaking views, glaciers, meadows, and true Cascade wilderness await. Make this a summer to remember on the Wonderland Trail.